Hello, the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Fable 2. All right, and we left off, we had just got done dealing with that bandit who took out the bridge for, uh, well, for Barnum to be able to rebuild the bridge. And now we're moving back along to, uh, get some money from Barnum for doing that thing. But also, in the same hand, might as well buy what we can to increase the rent ability that I'm going to get because quite frankly I make quite a bit of money <laughs> from the last time I was recording so might as well enhance that every chance I get so I'm going to do that uh, also nope nothing good there so fuck that also we're going to keep moving right along to go back to Barnum uh, this way, right? Yeah, this way. I can go this way. Uh, oh. I thought... Okay, well, I guess I can technically go this way. Then go nowhere. What? I, I'm... I am not here right now. My brain is apparently fucking up every little thing. Alright, let's fucking go back to Barnum. Uh, I think place is reopening now, right? The whole place is reopening up as it's morning, I think. Um, oh, it's 8.21 p.m. Never mind. It is not opening back up. It is, in fact, closing. <laughs> I was not paying attention to what the crier said. Okay, Barnum is up here. Up we go to tell him the good news. Okay. Ah, the hero returns. A stupendous success. Jolly well done. You, you didn't even hear I of course, said I killed him. Those deeds weren't entirely genuine, so the toll thing isn't going to work out quite as planified. Great. Still, at least it's not me who has to rebuild the bridge now. Fair. Okay, so I might be broke, but I'll bounce back. Always do. If you say so. Anyway, here's my trusty Thessaurus, as promised. You never know when you'll be caught in a lexicological quandary. Uh, if you say so. That, uh... That thesaurus has not served you well, because you are just making up words, it sounds like. You have defeated Dash's bandit crew. Oh, was, his name was Dash. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't going to completely, you know stake my life on it. <laughs> the bridge in Rookridge can now be rebuilt, which will allow you to return to Bowerstone. Yay! Finally! And uh, Barnum has completely and utterly disappeared. Thanks to you, the way to Bowerstone yeah. is now open again. Yeah! Woo! Alright. almost famous enough. A few people are whispering of your deeds, but that's not quite enough. You're kidding me, right? How much do I need for him to be happy? 16 more renown. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I need 16 more renown. Oh, fuck off with that. Okay, I'm going to look at the sales real quick. Um, hmm. I could go back now to Bowerstone Market. Um, let's go back to the town square. Why not? <sighs> My throat is killing me. Let me get some coffee to try and quell that. All right. That should do it. Oh, and of course it's nighttime when I come here. With a few more deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. Yeah. Well, I'll, uh... I'll definitely work on it. Oh, I can't even buy the fucking veg stall. God damn it. Okay. Alrighty then. Is there any way I can just rent a room for the night over here? Eh? Interesting going on I haven't in the heard world. anything. Okay. Maybe? 
Maybe I can do that? I really must leave now. <laughs> See ya. Um, yeah, I can do that. Okay, cool. Still. Sleep for about six hours. And it should be morning now. All right. There we go. Hey, hey, some more money. I'm making quite a bit more money, actually. Damn. All right. Now that I'm here, um... Huh. I had a plan. But there used to be more people here to do that plan for. Um... Uh, maybe... Maybe I still can. Uh, really, what I was planning on doing was using trophies to uh, increase my renown that way. And, uh... Well, that's six already. It's not bad. You've almost done it. I'm sure a little more renown will do the trick. Well, that's what I'm hoping, but I cannot find enough people for the life of me to do it. Okay. Uh... You're almost famous enough. Yeah, a few that, people I'm, are whispering of your deeds. I'm, but that's not quite enough. I'm aware. I'm working on it. You never know when I might have a say <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> and... A little more. Wow. With a few more deeds like that, okay. the abbot will have no choice there but to go. accept you as the escort. Maybe if I do this a couple more times. There we go. That should finish me up. You've done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard of you. Oh, thank God. Now you can go back to the abbot. I was starting to be... I was starting to be worried that maybe I was not as a... Sh Maybe not, I was not as a, uh, not surefire, I guess is not the right word, um, correct in assuming that that would work, rather. Uh, boy, let's buy the drink stall, because of course I am. Why not? While I'm here, I might as well. Alright, uh, foodstuffs. Ooh, got some well water. I could buy that. I definitely will buy that. Um... Once a semi-frozen cylinder, now a passable imitation of the real thing. Ah, concentrated anything is great. Alright. Here we go. Spring water. Ooh. Grab that for sure. Uh you should really buy this one. One would be able to detect hints of raspberry honeydew and marmoset with one's nose if one was a pompous ass. Uh, yep, that is probably true. <laughs> there you go. Any port in a storm. Surprise, it's a port. Come back anytime. Alrighty. Uh, quality banana juice. Why not? Fuck it. Just get some more stuff while I'm here. Uh, pretentious stout. Make yourself drunk. Make others drunk. What's not to like? Uh, a lot. <laughs> okay. Hobbs water is... Nope, that's not something I'm buying. Um, value water. That's that's not a statement you want to hear. It's warm and has a coppery taste, a bit like blood. That's not something you want ever. Okay, let's get let's get some food from the meat trader now. I can help you. Uh, travel ready beef jerky. A passable table jerky. It tastes vaguely of salted meat. Because that's what it is. Who so would have thunk it? it? Okay, I'll buy that, sure. Um, you have good taste. Organic no beef jerky. Right Cows must town. submit to years of training and rigorous study to achieve organic jerky. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for your custom. That's taking the piss out of people who uh, love... Um, what's the phrase I'm looking for? The whole foods phenomenon, you know? That's uh, got to be just... That's got to be the sort of thing that's taking the piss out of them. Okay, fish trader. Right. Looking for something special? Well, here's hoping. Um, hmm. 
Okay. I could do that. Westcliff Cod, fresh salmon, improves your will and instills in you an inexplicable desire to swim upstream and caught off the coast of Westcliff, where its bountiful presence should ensure it never goes extinct. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's probably true. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Okay. I should... Shut up now. I'm not going Please to the pie trader. Do your homework before you can play with your friends. The homework? I bet I'd be good with a real crossbow. <laughs> what let you me like? have one. <laughs> wow. Need any help? She is going for his throat there. <laughs> I probably would be good with a crossbow if you let me have one, you cheeky fucker. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. <laughs> Crisp celery. A crunchy, fibrous vegetable which requires more calories to digest than it provides. That is somewhat true. Sure, why not? I'll grab that. Because it uh, actually takes away from fatness. <laughs> uh, silken tofu. Though a tactile delight for the tongue and healthy gift for your body, neither will get much taste from this tofu. Well, yeah, it's typically how it goes. Go. Homegrown carrot. Stiff, straight, and healthy. It's probably inappropriate to carry in your pocket. Absolutely. That's a fine item. An apple a day keeps the guildmaster away. Well, there's no guildmaster anymore, because I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Okay, let's move on. Organic tofu. You should really Organic like tofu. One. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> the food of choice for hippies everywhere. Well, you're not wrong. There you go. Hydroponic carrot. The resounding crack of this crisp imperator focuses the mind. There you go. Okay, then. Someone has buffed this baby to a blinding sheen. The crack as your teeth break the skin will be heard for miles. Oh. Hey. I can't buy that anymore. <laughs> wow. Okay. Did not expect that. Well, I ran out of cash right quick. Oh, wait, never mind. No, wait, I'm still running out of cash. It, it's still processing all my transactions. <laughs> okay. And am I eventually gonna be done here? 66. Okay, that was it. Alrighty. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was thrown off by the fact that I was still processing all those transactions. I ran through them that quickly. Alright, um, I can head back to the Abbot now, actually. Now that I think about it, I was just buying up food for the inevitable uh, fighting I'll need to do. Just to uh, have extra health things in my back pocket. But now, let's head back to the Abbot. It'll take 29 hours to get back, so... Fuck. <laughs> Another day of travel. Alright, to be a successful beggar... What? Try to get people to like you first, then use the beg expression. Yeah, that's... That's great. <laughs> that's a great thing. Why not? It's like... Get them to have some sort of resemblance of respect for you, and then break it all. That's right. A sale is about to end. Where? Uh, oh. Stonecutter, uh, blacksmith, and tattooist. Okay. Um, don't need anything from the blacksmith for a while. And stonecutter. I wouldn't be able to afford it anyway. All right. Fair enough. Now I know. And now I run. What the hell? Why is everyone up here? Why the hell is everyone up here? Okay, you know what? Hmm, not really sure about How about this? Huh? A little extra renown since I'm here. Oh, you love that. And you couldn't have picked a better spot for it. Well, I guess not. I probably should have been here when I was doing that renowned farming. Alrighty. Hello! 
You know me now. It's you. I prayed for your return. Uh, yeah, you better have. I heard what you did in Rookridge. You should have. I think you could be of great use to us. Uh-huh. Come, walk with me a while. All right. I don't want to skip the conversation. Let's just let it roll. Huh? Bud? Are, are you okay? Okay. No, he had to check both doors. The golden okay. acorn is done with holy water from the well spring of light. Uh huh. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Why is it there then? Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave, the strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. I see. Obviously, this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. Alrighty. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. Alrighty. The cave is just at the end of this road. Oh, okay. So, what you're saying you is you want me to... it on your way here. Our strongest monk will be waiting for you when you're ready. Okay. Now then, I must gather the others and prepare for the blessing. The blessing, all right. Our first hero awaits us, even if they do not yet realize it. So it's the, uh, kid? That's what you're telling me? Huh. Well then, on top of the fact that apparently this is some sort of, uh, trial by fire that this, uh, group likes to do for getting the, uh, what was it, sacred spring water... Whatever it is. Alright. Well, now that I know what they want me to do... Scorm and Avo are what was that about Scorm and Avo? Huh? They only showed up in the first game and now they're kind of gone. More or less. Anyway. Away we go! Woo! The souls left in broken down, down by the reeds. Night blooming weeds embrace those who go dancing in sad moonlit dreams. Down by the reeds, a twisted path leads to branches who breathe out a cold winter breeze. Nobody knows, nobody sees the sirens of Oakvale down by the reeds. Down by the reeds. And she'll just down by start the singing reeds. the whole song over again. Swim the sirens of Oakvale out to the seas. Emma! I knew my lovely Sorry. singing voice Anna. in the crowds. Yeah, well, that definitely did. I, I stayed quiet so we could listen. <laughs> so you're my escort then? Yeah. My father said you'd be coming by. Fair enough. Hey there, boy. Hello. Aww. Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. Oi! I'm over here. I'm Sister Hannah. Sister Hannah, okay. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. And probably I can't hit. I much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Oh. Did my father mention that? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. That's why we well, require me. a hero, not a pacifist monk. Yeah, that's we'll true. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. Oh, yeah? You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Yeah. Golden or not, how much water does a bloody acorn need? <laughs> Apparently a lot. After you. All right. Fair enough. Well, 
Well, she admits that I'm getting the excitement, so maybe she would rather doing violence, huh? Well, we'll find out. But I'm going to have to end the episode here for right now because I'm a little bit over time as it stands. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. My, <laughs> my throat almost made me cough there for a second. <laughs> this has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and finally getting enough renown to be able to get this fucking quest rolling because <laughs> uh it's kind of essential for me to continue on this sort of quest line for you <laughs>